Warning, this video contains spoilers to the video to the movie I'm about to review right now. Viewer discretion has been advised and today's topic is anime related. Let's go. Hey guys, Gamer Profile slash VA here and today I'm going to review the movie of Dragon Ball Super Superhero, the latest Dragon Ball movie ever since the Broly movie. I know people say it's terrible and the worst movie ever, but at least it made more money in US box office, so that can't compare to that. Let's start off with the downfall of the Red Ribbon Army when Magenta and Carmine plan to, re to recruit Dr. Hedo. So yeah, given the fact that I, like, I started with the downfall of until Magenta and Carmine plan to recruit him to join their cause. And it's nice to see how t Android 21 is now officially canon given the fact and yet, we figured out not just that, her real name, but also Andre 16's real name all of a sudden. So, yeah. I hope that we can see more of her in any future Dr Dragon Ball anime series or movie. Or movies all of a sudden, because that'll be nice. We get to see more of that, of her. I like how Piccolo looks with the his, the yellow ribbons instead of the, his iconic pink. And Pan is more of a toddler now, since, like... It's nice to see how they, she's well grown ever since she was a baby back in Battle of Gods. So, hope we can see more of Pan in the future as well in this one. And Piccolo got a new phone all of a sudden, given the fact that Videl had to call him along, also, given the fact to ask him a favor to pick up Pan since Gohan had to work all of a sudden. Because literally, like, Videl is also busy as well, so yeah, I guess Piccolo had to be the one person to do the favors for Videl and Gohan, given the fact he did these favors for Chi-Chi, Goku. And of course, as for his new house, it's a similar combination of one of those buildings you see on Planet Namek, and similar to Majin Buu's house, like from the Buu Saga and the Namek Saga at the same time. So yeah, it's nice to see how that went out. And yet... Goku had to calm Broly down, given the fact that he went almost went out of control, given the fact that Vegeta is meditating, which is a first to discover how Jiren did the same thing. Given the fact Goku had to be like, why are you had to sit in there all of a sudden? Your you body will go soft, like literally. So, like, wow. Some hero Goku is all of a sudden. And yet, he had to remind Vegeta about Jiren, who is the one strongest, alongside with Broly. Like, literally. Given the fact Jiren has been one of the strongest in Universe 11, and also cannot forget the gods of destruction of all the universes, given the fact that Goku loves to fight, given the fact he wants to train his body. Because, like, literally, we saw the online him was saying, like, meditating is also part of being warriors, not bodybuilders. Some, like I said, some hero Goku is. He only has the smarts when it comes to fighting, but when it comes to his domestic life, pointless. But not even Vegeta, Bulma, not even his own wife, Chi-Chi, can I even stand Goku's stupidity. He's basically that brain dead, and yet, he does it to protect the Earth, but yet, who else gonna stand his stupidity? I'm just saying. And when Beerus first met Melamo Chilai, like, Beerus was impressed with Lemo's cooking, and yet, in the Japanese dubbed, he called Chilai cute. Like, literally, he took a liking into her. Well, watch out, Broly. Like, literally. And yet, Piccolo cannot stand how Gohan went soft because of his because of Chi-Chi. Because, literally, like, Gohan hasn't been training enough all of a sudden, given the fact that, yeah, it's hard as it is. As for, as for, like, the two Gammas, even though, given the fact that Gamma 2 went to for Piccolo, but yet they didn't know that he survived. And yet, the Red Ribbon Army commanded that, Commanded the initiative to cap kidnap Pan all of a sudden, so yeah. And Gohan did not take kindly to the message. We know so even though that Piccolo is infiltrate infiltrated the hidden city to find him. So yeah, he got angry and angry and angry to figure out where his Pan has been hiding. And let me get started with Bulma. She's that really that damn selfish for using the Dragon Balls to wish. For a bigger booty. And just for plastic surgery. Like Bulma Briefs is one of the most spoiled women. Out of the entire Dragon Ball series. Like I swear. As for Gohan. At least it's nice he, they brought back his Super Saiyan. And his ultimate form in the fight. 
to rescue his daughter from the Red Ribbon Army, which Goku and Vegeta did not show up for this one. Oh, yeah. Orange Piccolo. I heard Piccolo use the Dragon Balls to unlock his hidden potential like they, uh, the Guru did with Krillin and Gohan. Now that Shenron unlocked his potential, and now Orange has got this, Piccolo has his new form. Orange Piccolo. It's nice to see how Goten and Trunks are now full-edged preteens or teenagers all of a sudden after they were kids back in Dragon Ball Super, the beginning of it. Nice to see how they take a reference of 18's GT look, but taking a little touch with their turn of power design, which is good in a way. Krillin is still a cop to this day, but yet they had to give him a different uniform, but yet, and as for those boots, similar to Goku's Wii Symbol Gi, because, like, literally, I like to take some reference of that. They like to take reference of that. As for Magenta's robotic body, it kind of does remind me of General Ironwood with his robotic body from the third volume. Like, literally, it does give up some vibe of that. As for Cell Max, oh, man. If Dr. Hedo had seen the plan to completing Cell Max how he envisioned it, he would have been more powerful. Not even Ultra Instinct Goku could stop it. Not even Ultra, Ultra Ego Vegeta could stop it. Not even Full Power SSJ Broly could stop it. And I hate to anchor some people when I say this. Not even Frieza Black could stop Cell Max if he was completely. But Magenta activated him and he went berserk. Oh man, they had to bring back one of the failed fusion and go tanks, but as a teen. It's like literally, it's been like ages they haven't done fusion all of a sudden, but yet at least they have some use for that failed fusion. And let's talk about the biggest moment of all time. Beast Gohan. The first time I've ever seen this, because like people call it final Gohan, but According to Toriyama, Beast Gohan is now efficient. Him and Orange Piccolo have been are now in par with both Ultra Instinct Goku and Ultra Ego Vegeta, which I heard from some people all of a sudden. Like, which is it? Basically it. And yes, Vegeta got what he wanted in defeating Goku after all the years of Goku surpassing him. Given the fact that, yeah, Vegeta got what he wanted, but... It may, ne but it's only, it will only really last to its final. So yeah. So basically, that's basically the movie in a nutshell. So yeah, from my opinion, it is a good movie. Even though people say it was terrible, but at least it made more box off U.S. box office cash that surpassed the Broly movie, which is ironic. So yeah, I hope we could get more of this in the near future. Gamer Pro Five Slash V Eight out.